Hello, ladies and uh, gentlemen. Uh, today, we're going to be looking at God7 with If You Do. Now, God7 has been recommended to me a lot of times, and we're going to deep dive a little bit more into them because I think they have a very interesting concept, and also, I like the energy that they give on their MVs. So, I would say, let's not waste any more time, and let's jump right into today's video with If You Do. Like always, guys, if you do enjoy the video you're about to see, make sure you hit that like button, make sure you subscribe to, to support the channel, and I would say let's jump into if you do. Ooh. Ooh hoo hoo. Let's actually analyze the first shot. So the first shot is actually really beautiful. You might think, why is it beautiful, man? Like, what's up with you? It's just a very heavy contrast in the blacks and then the lights point out. Neon lights are just top notch. They really just give a beautiful aesthetic to the camera. There's something about it why people like to go to Asia and photography because it is just beautiful to film. It's great. The moving lamps. Again, having all these elements that are beautifully swinging, you know, keeping the scene alive. Also very nice. <laughs> And you have to remember, this video is from 2015, okay? Forget it. Ooh. Really nice. We don't have any face softening going on in the face. Like, you can actually see his skin details. Beautiful. <laughs> I like that. Is one of the signs broken? Oh man, I, I wonder if it's done on purpose, but you can see here that one of the bar, the, the light doesn't work. Maybe it was broken on set, no idea, but maybe it was too much. Hard, hard to say. Like, I would have been curious to see how it looks like with it actually on. Could have been a little bit too much red, actually, overpowering. Wait, what was that for a transition? Okay, one sec, one sec. Okay, okay, now I, I see the cut. We can all see the cut. Cleverly done, though. Just continuing this shoot. Very nice shot here as well. Again, just, just analyze that one. Looking through the, what do you call it? I think it's called a peephole, if not mistaken. It's a nice aesthetic, you know? It, it's something special. I wonder if they used a special lens for it, if they or they basically crammed a lens onto the peephole. But either way, it looks cool. Still a shame though what happened with God7, but I'm happy where they are today as well. Good for them. You can see already this is one of those classical videos, again, where they try to do like a 50-50 cut with it. Like the main part is going to be choreography and then the other part is going to be some of the storytelling. It's hard to say what I would have focused on if I just listened to the music, but for me, maybe a story would have been nice because it's it, it seems like a very sentimental song and a story might have put this a little bit better together. You know, choreography is nice. Like, I really think choreography is always good, but you need to find that correct balance because here it seems like they want to focus more on the choreography and I'm a little bit lost on where these guys are walking to. Oh, really nice though. At least they are actually spray painting here. Really nice shots as well. Oh, I didn't even notice that. But if we look at that again, it's, it's all about the practical effects here. But if you look at these lights, they're swinging and the lights are actually on. But I didn't realize not only are they swinging, the lights are also moving according to how they swing. And it just gives a very nice aesthetic to the room. Like it's all chaotic and everything, like what we see on everything in the scenes. Where is this being filmed? It seems like a prison or a mental institute. I really wonder where they filmed this. Like, could this be a set that they have built? If you know, leave it in the comments. Most likely, it is a location. It does seem a little bit like this video was following the trend of what was happening in 2015. Like, they all have a bit of a warmer tone to it. It all looks a bit washed out, if that makes sense as well from a, a video quality. Like, they're all following that same trend. Like, even if we look at Shiny, very similar. 
And also with these heavy darks and heavy blacks, it's okay though. It, it was happening back then. And I think in 2016, 2017, they started transitioning to a more of a storytelling uh, uh, a trend. That guy is mad though. What's behind door 1704? Oh. Is he going to do something there? Is he going to spray paint something? It would be nice if something would come that's a little bit more, you know, punchable when it comes to the MV. So far, a lot of small things happen, but nothing is something that would be like, okay, I'll remember that. Like the point where he starts spray painting like his ex or something. I I, I don't know. Like something like this would be nice. Like this is cool. He really just seems angry. Maybe I spoke too early. Oh, BT. Oh, bit. Bitch? Oh, he tried to write the word bitch. Kind of cool, though. Like, what they are doing here as well. Like, the spray paint ran out because he was playing around with it. He was trying to be the rebel out there. Spray paint on the walls. And now he's out of paint. And now he cannot finish the word that he wanted to write. I still think it's cool, though, what they were going with here. But, uh... Actually, I can also actually maybe think that they actually wrote it already and they covered it up because you can see the C going behind the poster here. And maybe there's also going to be a H there. I don't know, but maybe they just didn't want to have any cursing words in there because, again, you know, K-pop is supposed to be angelic and people cannot curse in any type of videos. Nice. It's up to you if you want to break up. I really hate that when people say that. It's up to you if you really want to break up. What are you saying? Like, literally... You want to break up, but you're giving me the choice. But if I say, no, I don't want to, we stay together. But even if I say that, you're going to say, you know what? We're not going to be together. I don't care. Yeah, exactly. Do you want. Shut up. That's all I have to say. I hate these kind of people. Like, they, they, they don't know what they want themselves. So they just give someone else the choice to do what they want to do. To Come on, hit it. Hit the BMW. Maybe it's going to be the BMW that's going to interlink everything. There we go. Nice. Good shot, though. I'm actually happy that the camera was also inside of the um, inside of the car because it gives the impact as if you were driving and someone is completely crazy overtaking your car. You know, vandalism. Really powerful shot. This very clever shot as well. This guy is really putting his energy into hitting that punch bag. Again, that's kind of cool. I really think before I spoke a little bit too early, there was nothing that was very impactful, but now it's actually coming all together. Come on, break in the door just. Come on, I want to know what's in that door. Is maybe this guy on the other side of the door? Really nice. You can feel that they were really just screaming on set. Man, you didn't blow up the car. Maybe that would have been cool, though. Yeah, this is a very classical uh, love song, you know, that you get from the K-pop world. And uh, it's catchy, actually. Like, there are some elements to the MV that I actually like. So, like I already said, this MV is somehow at the very beginning when it comes to the MV, it's, it's building up to something and you're like, where are they going with? Is something going to happen or not? I still think there is no clever build up because what is happening, we're having these people that are just having a linear story, like they feel upset and then all of a sudden they go at full 100% and boom. They are completely pissed off and they want to destroy everything around them. I wish there was more of a gradient that was more getting into it because it always takes something to flip. But at the moment, I don't really understand what was the flipping moment. Maybe it's because I didn't understand the lyrics. That could be it. But again, it's nicer for the story if it was just a little bit more, you know, a little bit like, okay, okay. And then, okay, now we understand what's happening. Do you know what I'm getting at? But then again, this is one of those songs that uh, it seems like the classical K-pop song from 2015. I like the way it was edited. Everything was just very clean. 
screen. The set design is more or less interesting. I'm happy that it's all in live locations, that it seems like a place where I could get pissed off as well, especially if someone tells me, yeah, you can do whatever you want, you know, I don't care. In other words, she already made up her mind, but she's still playing with you. That is a person you don't want to be with anyway. Don't be with her. But guys, that is all the time I have for this video. If you did enjoy today's video, make sure to give that subscribe button and the like button some love to support the channel. And of course, I'll catch you on the next video. I hope you're happy. I hope you're safe. So stay awesome.